All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, this is a long-awaited video by like four people, and I apologize for having it out for you know, well, not getting it out for a little while. I've been kind of busy, and uh, but this is a video on how to get videos on your PlayStation Portable device to actually work. Now, this program is actually put up by Sony, and I have it on disc, but I'm gonna rip it either ISO or take the execute file off the disc, one or the other, and I'm gonna post it for a link for you guys to download, which will be available on softwarereborn.com, which is my website, so go check that out after the video, after watching this. But uh, so I already got the disc in the drive, and I'm using my PSP Go here. So uh, first things first, you're gonna need your USB cable, plug that in, and. Uh, just leave it at that for now. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to locate the disk. So uh, let's go to start and the computer and you'll see the uh, PSP Media Go 11 right here. And I'm just going to double click on that and open it up. And uh, what? Let's see. Is there an execute on here? Yes, there is. What do you know? All right. I'm probably just going to rip the ISO because the disc is only, Ooh, never mind. Okay, yeah, I'm probably just gonna do the fucking execute file. So let's see, uh, let's go to the setup. I mean, you can also get this directly from Sony, so if that doesn't work, then you can do that too, but just go to the setup after downloading it or whatever, and uh, just confirm that, hit yes, when you get the security notification, and wait for the prompt to come up. Do 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 do. What the fuck? Okay. Anyways. All right. So, click install Media Go. Open the Media Go Wizard. Next. Accept the terms. Next. Standard installation. Next and allow that to the uh, do its thing so let that install now while that's installing I'm gonna put my PSP in USB mode so I'm gonna plug that in like so plug the USB cable in the correct way USB alright updating Microsoft Visual C++ 2005 Updating Adobe Flash Player. Updating PlayStation Store File Downloader Component. Oh boy. Links for more videos. Thank you, Ed. Anyways, uh, go to this. Don't need that. Alright, so, let's allow the. What the fuck just happened on my desktop? And I'm just gonna go, allow this to go through the installation on the video so you can see it throughout, through in. So. Waiting, 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 waiting. <sighs> okay. Ah, there we go. Installing Media Go. So now it's going to install after it updates all that fun shit. Any day now. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, who? Okay. Pause time because I don't feel like making you guys wait. Alright, so, it's finished installing, and obviously it fucking just goes as soon as I hit the pause button. But anyways, here we go. So, click finish. And now, I believe that this is all set, so we can exit this now. And then you're going to see the icon for media go on your desktop. And it's going to initialize automatically. Set of assistance will guide you through a few steps to design and help you find existing media on your computer. Next. Add music, pictures, video folders. I'm just gonna click. Click next on that. P 
PSP PlayStation Portable. If you have a Sony Ericsson phone, check that. Next, congratulations, you're complete. Finish! Alright, now, you'll see that the PSP is located on the left side here, and I'm just going to go and... Up to here, and select video clips. Now, what you're going to need to do is find a video that you want to put on your PSP. For example, I'm just going to take this one here. I just created this video. Oh, you can't drag and drop. Well, that's gay. All right, so um, click here to scan folders for media. Add a folder, and then I'm just going to go select my videos. Click OK. Okay, updating your library, and it's going to show all the videos up in your library here. Bum -ba -da -ba. And let that load, 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 and here it is. Alright, so the second one is what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to select that, and I think if I right click on it, Oh, all right, so now add clip to all right now down at the bottom here add clip to the death rain 333 just click go Now you'll see a little loading bar here, it's going to pop up, and it'll be 1%, 2%, and it'll keep increasing. So wait until that finishes, and I'll be right back. Now it's going to take a while too, because it has to format the video into a, tra um, it's basically like um, an encryption, and then it has a THM file that it converts also to make the PSP recognize it, so you're going to need that. So when in doubt, let's go wait again. Alright, so it's all copied over and everything, and if you click on the Death Rain 333 down there, or whatever the name of your PSP is, you're going to see that the video is now on there. So, now, and another beautiful thing about this program is that you can back up your save data as well. So, here's all my save data, by the way. My games, a la, <laughs> you can manage your custom firmware games here as well. Fortunately, you can't manage the ISOs, but that's okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to close this up. I'm going to get this the fuck out of here. So open up Remote Joy. Come up on the PSP. Exit USB mode. And I'm just going to reset my VSH really quick. So hold on one second. Reset, you dick. Thank you. So you can see that it clearly worked. Drag that up a little bit bigger there. And boom, here we go. Alright. Go over to the video and the system storage, because that's where it's going to be designated to. You can change it to the memory stick if you wish, but I don't see why you would. And then you just hit play. There you go. It's coming kind of choppy because it's my video, but whatever. And I just made this video, this, you're going to see this in the beginning of a lot of my videos, um, actually all of them, so that's what's going to come up. But yeah, so there you go, so that's how you get videos on your PSP, and uh, have them work for you. So, hope you guys enjoy, I will have the link in description below for the downloads and everything, so enjoy. So rate, comment, subscribe to my channel, be sure to check out my website, softwarereborn.com, like I said before. My Twitter is at DeathRain333, and also electronics and software is at the dot blog spot for my blog, which you can find all that on my channel. So, take it easy, guys. Thanks for all your support, and enjoy.